Steph, welcome back to my channel. Long time no see, I know. <laughs> Sorry, um, I did post an update a couple of videos ago if you haven't seen it, so go feel free to check that out. Um, I just finished work, so my makeup's probably looking a little bit brighter. Sorry about that. Um, but we're just going to roll with it. I am doing my current favourites today. It's been a long time. It's been a hot minute since I filmed a favourites. Maybe April? April, I think, was my last favourites. Um, a lot has happened since April. So um, I have a list and a pile of stuff just here. Um... So, yeah, we're just gonna, we're just gonna go with it. This is my, my list of favourites. Um, I wrote them all down as well as pulled them all out, obviously, to show you guys, just in case, you know, whatever. Also, I'm sitting here in my pyjamas, not even sorry, my pyjama pants, the top is not pyjamas, but anyway. Um, so I'm gonna do beauty and fashion as one category for my favourites today and then I'm also doing uh, travel, planner, uh, entertainment and media and then random favourites. So um, the first one I want to do is my travel ones because I have recently travelled to three different places and I loved all three of them. The first one was um, Melbourne. I went to Melbourne for a weekend to support a friend in a competition and also to attend the Melbourne Planner Meetup. So shout out to all the Melbourne girls. I know that some of you did recognise me and did um, say that you've watched my videos and stuff. So thank you so much. And if you see this, I do love you all. And it was so nice to meet you all. Um, but anyway, so that was really, really fun. Um, the Melbourne planners are great. There was, like, no drama, no bitchiness. Everyone was lovely. Like, it was just really, really fun to go. And I, I did make some new friends. So, hey, girls. Because, you know, there was a lot of you. Um, <laughs> and it was really, really nice to finally meet Natalie Nevers Scribbles here on YouTube. I'll um, link her down below. She should be linked down below anyway. But I will link her down below if she's not already. Um... It was really nice to finally meet Natalie. We've been talking um, for probably close to about nine months now. So it was really nice to finally meet her. And she was absolutely lovely. So hey Nat, because I know you'll probably watch this. How's it going, sister? Um, but yeah, Melbourne was great. I also, in the realm of capital cities, I went to Brisbane. I actually just got back yesterday um, from the day that you're going to see this video. I, feel I got back yesterday. Um... And I actually attended the Brisbane Planner Markets, and I will discuss those coming up. Um, but it was really nice. I was there with my friend Georgia. Hi, Georgia, because I know you watch this. I went with her, and we went for the markets, as I said. But we just wandered around the city, and um, we did a lot of Pokemon hunting and things like that. So that was really fun. And we ate food, all the food. Oh, my God. If you ever go to Brisbane, go to Ms. K's. Um, it's on... It's on a street, which I do not remember the name of. It's near Queen Street Mall. Um, go there and you have to go to the Eat Street Markets. It was so, so good. Oh, my God. Oh, but, yeah, Brisbane and Melbourne, top two favourite capital cities at the moment. Oh. The next, the other big travel thing that I did was I actually went overseas for the first time and I went on a cru cruise. I went on a Pacific Island cruise. Um, I was on the Pacific Jewel for 10 days and we did Isle of Pines, Numea, Lifu and Mare all in um, New Caledonia. So it was really, really nice. Highly, highly recommend cruising as a holiday. It was brilliant. It was so, so good. Um, it was just, it was such, oh, it was just brilliant. Like I can't even express that enough. It was just really, really nice um, to just have like a really stress free holiday so highly recommend cruising if anyone is interested in a cruise experience video let me know in the comments below and i can do that for you moving on to my beauty and fashion favorites the first one is actually this shirt that i'm wearing now it's a chambray shirt it is from factory in um australia i will insert either a clip or a photo um, either now or towards the end because I've got a few other things that I have photos of to add in. 
um, I'll either I'll add in a couple of the, like those. This will be teamed with some other favorites coming up in a minute. Um, but yeah, I love this shirt. It, when I first got it, I bought it because it was a chambray shirt and I didn't have one. And I thought oh, I'll give it a go, um, and I didn't think I'd actually love it as much as I do. So it's really really comfortable. It's really it's got a little bit of stretch to it but not like too much I can move in it like it's easy to move around in and stuff and it's really easy to style so yeah I love this for clothing as well I recently discovered boohoo and I'm obsessed this is one of my key pieces at the moment and it's just like this really slinky kind of top um, I love the detailing on the front of it it's so so pretty it's just this like dusty, rosy, purpley colour. I think it's actually called Dusty Rose. I'm not sure. If I can find this piece, I will link it below. Um, but it is really, really comfortable. And my favourite thing to team it with at the moment is actually also from Boohoo. And it is this just leather slip skirt. Super comfortable as well. I absolutely love wearing this with this top and actually with this strongway shirt. So I will team all of these together and film a little clip for you. Um, and then I have also, with those, been obsessed with these little booties. These are so adorable. They're like a faux suede kind of material. I got them from Kmart for like $10. And they've just been sitting there. I like, to be honest, I don't even know why I bought them. But they're just so comfortable to walk around in. So, yeah, I love these as well. Um, Kmart shoes, to be perfectly honest, are actually so, so good. Like, I'm just saying. In the way of accessories, these earrings here have been my go-to. They're just these little hearts. I'll take one out for you. They're just these little hearts that are like have like the little wires like crossed around them. They're just so so beautiful. I absolutely love them. They're lightweight and pretty and easy to wear. So I love those. And also this ring. It's a fabric ring. It's like a fabric-y, florally colour, and I've been wearing this with that top because the colours are similar. This is more of a pinky shade, whereas the top's more of a purple, but they all look really pretty together, so I've been wearing this a lot as well. This came from La Visa, and these, I'm pretty sure, are from La Visa as well. If I can find them, I will link them below, but I don't know if you can order from La Visa. My current favourite handbag love is actually this Michael Kors bag. It's in like a corally colour. Um, I got this off a friend. I don't, so I don't know where it came from, fairly sure it's fake, but I'm also not sure, um, but yeah, he gave this to me, I absolutely love it, I love how bold the colour is, but I also love, like, just, oh, it's just so functional, it's got pockets everywhere, right now it's full of stuff, because I just came home from work, but yeah, I love it, um, it does, or it did have, like, a strap that goes on the inside as well, which I need to get of him, so I have it, but yes i really really love it it's big enough to carry everything and yeah it's just really stylish as well one more thing before i get into my makeup favorites is actually my perfume and you may have recognized you may recognize this bottle this is alien by i think it's terry mugler i probably butchered that it's like t-h-e-r-r-y-m-e-g-l I -E -R. I'll put it on the screen somewhere so that you guys um, can tell. But I got this on my cruise, duty free, for $62. It's normally about $130 to $150 here. This is the refill bottle, so I'm really, really excited to have this. Um, you can see, like, I came back from my cruise about six weeks ago, and it's already half gone. So I go through this. It's, you know, a, a big bottle like this will last me three months. Um, it's my go-to perfume and I highly, highly recommend it. This or anything by Terry Mugler, really. Like, So, on to makeup. We recently got a Mecca Maxima at Charlestown Square, so of course that's a favourite. Um, I went to the opening and it was so, so good. They, like, amped up the crowd and, um, everyone got, like, little bottles of water that said Mecca Maxima and like lollipops and stuff and we got our photos taken and videos it was just really really exciting it was a really good day um and I actually we I went in there I was in there within the first half hour of it being open and I um 
I was actually approached by someone who asked if I was a makeup artist, which is a little bit awkward, and she told me that I should work there. I just need a red lip. So that was a little bit embarrassing, but also kind of exciting that someone recognized me that way. So that was really cool. Um, but I picked up a few key pieces from Mecca, and I've lost one. So the first thing that I went in there for... Well, one of the things I went in there for was the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. I got the waterproof version and I love it. I'm wearing it right now. I love that the wand is like an hourglass shape. I just, I really love it and I love the texture on the um, packaging. I've only worn it a couple of times, but it's definitely a favorite because as soon as I put it on, I was like, oh my God, where's this been all my life? It volumizes, it lengthens, it like builds, you can do one layer, two layer, three layers, like you can you can build this product up, which I really, really enjoy. And when they say waterproof, man, they're not wrong. I even tried it with eye makeup remover designed for removing waterproof makeup and it was a struggle to get this off. So highly, highly recommend this. I wouldn't say that it's better than sex, just saying, but it's pretty damn good. I also got the small version of the Urban Decay um, by Scandinavia All Nighter Setting Spray. This was recommended to me by a few people and so this was only $23 and I thought I'm just going to pick it up. Um, so I did and I love it. My makeup lasts so well. It looks really dewy now and things like that. Um, so it's really, really good and I highly recommend this product as well. I actually am going to go and get the full size. I bought another, a few other things from Mecca. Um, and then everybody who was there on the opening got a free gift if you spent over $65 in one transaction. And I did that. Um, and my freebie was this Kit Berry Lip Tint, a Berry Sheen Lip Tint. Um, and it is a beautiful, beautiful colour. It's extremely thick, the formula, which is why I'm pretty sure it was in the um, pile of like getting rid of stuff. But this has gone... This has become my go-to lip colour for work. It's got menthol in it, so it's really minty on the lips. So it's a very light, probably awful coverage on my lips. Um, but this is what it looks like. It's just like a really shimmery berry colour. Oh, and the menthol in it really does give it like a minty feel to your lips. So it does get a little bit tingly, but it's really, really good. Highly, highly recommend this. But I haven't been able to find them, so I don't know if they sold out of these or if like... They were just made for the, the like prizes. I'm not sure, but yeah, I really, really like them. A few makeup pieces that I've been loving that I didn't pick up from um, from, <laughs> from Mecca. Um, one, the first one is my foundation, and this is the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation. Um, this is in the shade 120 Classic Ivory, and the formula is their Dewy and Smooth. Um, Octanoxate sunscreen for normal to dry skin. Um, I'm actually combination oily skin, but I really like the formula of this one and it works well for me. Um, again, I'm in the shade 120 Classic Ivory. It's liquid. It's a liquid foundation. Um, but I really, really like it. I don't know if my camera is going to even focus on anything that I've been showing you guys, like, zoomed in. Um, it's medium to full coverage for me. I've been using a um, redness reducing primer, so, um, you know, a medium coverage foundation is working really well for me. Um, but, yeah, I love that. And I've been loving applying it with the e.l.f. Um, stippling brush. I need to replace this because, A, it's from e.l.f. and it's not great, and B, it's sort of starting to fall apart. But I paid like $2 for this, so whatever. But the Elf Stippling Brush, so I, pour, I put them onto my, um, the back of my hand, dab the stippling brush in it, brush it all in, and then I just buff over it with a beauty blender just to get rid of any possible streak lines, and then conceal and powder. Um, if you want to see any makeup videos from me, just let me know in the comments below because I'd love to try one. Um, and I've had a few people actually ask me, like, that don't really watch my channel, just different friends and stuff. So if anyone is interested in anything like that, um, or if there's any questions that you have or anything you'd like to see, just leave me a comment below because I'd love to try it. Um, but yeah, that's two of my makeup favourites. 
And then my third one is the uh, Rimmel Kate Contour Palette. Uh, this is in shade 2 Coral Glow. Um, side note, this is the only shade I've seen anybody have, even on YouTube, like in different states, different countries, whatever. It's the only one I've seen. So mine's super dirty, uh, but that's it. Uh, so I will swatch these. I love that they're subtle, but they're still like really shimmery. And I love the highlight. I've had so many people compliment um, the highlight on me. So I really, really like it. So that's the three there. So the um, highlight, which is called the Highlight Illumina. Um, the Contour Sculptor and the Blush Colorer um, across the bottom here. I really, really enjoy that product. It's really, really good. Um, and, you know, it's bold enough to sort of give you the color and stuff that you need, but it's also subtle enough to not be too overpowering. But it's also got a bit of shimmer in it, which somebody like me, you know, looks, it, that's not for everybody. Um, but I am someone who does like a little bit of shimmer in just about everything that I put on my face. So, yeah, for me, it really works well. Moving on to entertainment, the first thing I want to um, discuss is my favourite TV show of the minute um, that I've been obsessed with watching, and that is True Blood. This is season one here. I have season two and season three as well I'm currently on. I have been, one of my managers at work has been recommending this to me for a long time now, and I'm super, super obsessed with it. Um, I just, I love the storyline. I love the southern aspect of it. I love, like, um... You know, Sookie's Dynamics, I love, I just, I love it. I, I'm obsessed with it. The first episode I watched and I was like, what the F is this? What am I watching? It was about one in the morning. I texted my manager and I was like, what the hell kind of a show have you gotten me to watch? Like, what is this shit? Um, and he was like, just stick with it, Steph. Just watch it. Just watch it. And I watched, I finished the first episode, watched the second episode watched the third episode by the end of the third episode I was all over this show and I'm so so obsessed with it I'm absolutely loving it so if you have any tv show recommendations for when I finish this drop them below my favorite movie of the minute is actually one that I only watched a few days ago for the first time ever but I'm so obsessed with it now that I'm just I I, I can't even and that is Saving Private Ryan I um, for those of you who don't know, I have a best friend in the military, and he is very, very special to me. So military things can either really, really hit home for me hard, or they can, um, like, I can be of an opinion where it's just not good enough quality. And this one was amazing. It was absolutely amazing. For something made, was it late 80s, early 90s? It was brilliant. The cinematography was fabulous. The story was fabulous. It was just... It did hit home for me a little bit and it did actually make me tear up. I'm not somebody who cries in movies. I'm very desensitized to things like that. I don't have the need to cry in movies and I teared up. I, I did tear up. It was, it's got a beautiful message and I highly recommend if you haven't seen it that you watch it. For music favourites, I have an artist who I've been listening to and also a specific song. My artist is Keith Urban. Anything from his um, new uh, or the newest album, Ripcord, is amazing. I'm actually going to see Keith Urban in December and I'm really, really excited about it. So that's awesome. Um, but I've been listening to him nonstop. I just can't get enough. It's fabulous. I really, really like him. And the other random song that I've just been obsessed with lately is actually Into You by Ariana Grande. I don't know why, but it's it's just a song that just really, I don't know, just makes me feel good. I like it. It's a really good song. Moving on to books. This one should come as no surprise to anybody. It is Harry Potter and the Cursed Child. I have read this three times. Um since I got it. I was the fourth person in my local area to get my hands on this book in store. I went to the opening, I, I lined up outside my local um, shops for about an hour to get this book and I'm really really excited that I got it and I was fourth so. Uh, the first time I read it I did struggle a little bit because it is in script form and it's not really the general way that I usually read but 
so my camera died sorry about that but um yeah this is the last favorite i was talking about so yeah harry potter and the cursed child highly recommend on the subject of books i've just put my kindle up here um One of the books that I read on my cruise was The Girl on the Train by Paula Hawkins. It was a really, really good read. I, I'm actually really excited for the movie now that I've read the book. I didn't even realise it was being made into a movie, um, but it was really, really good. It was interesting and it was really, it was captivating to read, I'd say. It was, um, it was a thriller without being too thrilling and it was romantic without being too soppy if that makes sense um it was really really good read i really enjoyed it the other one that i read was this one to all the boys i've loved before by jenny han jenny jenny han jenny han sorry for however you pronounce it it was really good it was a little bit teeny like teenagey kind of but it was a really really good read as well it was easy to read as well it was one that you could just lose yourself in and it didn't really matter you know sort of how long you were really reading it for it was really interesting and it was nice like while I was on the cruise it was nice to just have something that was easy to read and wasn't so captivating like the girl on the train was so that was really really good and I just bought those as ebooks on Amazon um, and downloaded them straight onto my Kindle. My last two entertainment um, topics one is a YouTube channel, and the other one is an experience that I had. My YouTube channel is actually Whispers Red ASMR. I will link her down below. It's Emma. I've been really into ASMR lately because I've discovered that it is um, something that I can, like, that I experience very subtly and not with everything but I do have experiences so I've been really enjoying her videos trying to delve into it a little bit more it's been really fun and interesting to kind of learn about it and also um, she has a lot of variety on her channel which I really appreciate and she's really good so it's nice to sort of have that um, as a as a buffer I guess you'd say into trying to learn about it she's really well educated on it so if it's something that you are curious about or you want to know about I will link her down below and my experience was Disney on Ice I work at the um, venue where Disney on Ice was um, so I was there for three days and I actually attended the last show and this is the first year that Frozen has ever been in the show and it was really really amazing I was just I think this is also the first year that all seven mermaids have been in the show as well. It was really well done. I'm super impressed by it. It was a fabulous, fabulous show. Um, I had, did take a couple of Snapchats while I was there, so I'll insert them um, with the rest of the stuff that I'm inserting. Um, it was a really fun time. On to my planner favourites. My first, obviously, is my actual planner. This is the Erin Condren Life Planner. Um, in the colourful vertical, I've purchased the Taupe Luxe, which is the one with the silver accents. It says, create, motivate, inspire on the front. And it's like a luxey, like, leathery kind of colour. And I got the colourful. I'm loving this something crazy at the moment. I've just started it. I started it from September. Um, so I've got, I've done my year at a glance, or my 18 months at a glance with birthdays here. Let's move you. Um, I've done my September monthly, don't mind the sticky notes, they are videos. And I've done my first weekly spread, which is Wicked themed, and I made the Wicked stickers myself. Again, don't mind the sticky notes, there's a couple of things that I need to uh, clarify. But yes, I'm absolutely loving the colourful. I'm loving just having a new planner as well. It's really, really good. So it's obviously my first favourite. My second favourite is the planner markets. These are the Brisbane planner markets. I'll link the Instagram and Facebook page 
down below. Um, this is organised by Bianca de Souza from Washi Tape Australia and it was phenomenal. It was so much fun. This is the entire reason that Georgia and I went to um, Brisbane. So yeah, it was really good to sort of um, experience it and stuff and get to um, meet everybody and things like that. And my last three planner favourites are actually shops. Um, I have them all here. And these are all shops that I met um, at the markets. Um, all three of them are, you know, planner friends of mine. The first one is Gutsy Planner Designs. This is Claudia. It's an example of her stickers. These are on a glossy paper, if that's picking up in the light. Claudia was phenomenal. I bought so much stuff from her. Um, if it didn't, I'm not sure what order these are going up in, but I do have a planner markets haul. Um, if it's up already, I'll link it below. If not, keep an eye out for that tomorrow or the next day. Um, but yeah, there was Claudia. My second favourite is a fox and cactus, which is Emma and Tom. And here's an example of her stickers. She does all matte paper and it's so, so smooth. It's such a beautiful paper. Like, it feels like almost vinyl. It's gorgeous. The camera is dying and I'm running out of memory, um, but that's why this keeps happening. It's just shut off again. But anyway, Fox and Cactus. Um, paper feels kind of like vinyl, so it's really, really nice. And the third one is Blackbird Print Co., which is Nikki. Here's an example of her stickers. This is on a matte paper as well. I have a plan with me using a glossy kit from her uh, for my gin monthly. I'll throw it up in a card or something um, to show you guys. And then I just have two random favourites. The first one is this little voodoo elf. I got him in Numia. I actually call him Felf. Funny story, when I was little I couldn't say elf. Um, so I called him Felf. Um, and I had an elf doll. He's always just been felf ever since. So I got him. He sits on my bedside table and I just love him so, so much. He's so cute. And then the second one, my second random favourite is actually snorkelling. I'd been snorkelling before but never like, you know, massively into it or anything like that. Uh, and I went snorkelling on my cruise and I actually had so, so, so much fun. And I highly, highly recommend it if you haven't. Um, been able to go. I'm going to insert some photos and stuff um, towards the end of the video as well. So yeah. So that's it for all of my favourites. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to leave me comments down below for video requests. If you want to see makeup videos, if you want a cruise experience video, TV show recommendations, or just to say hi. I love chatting with you guys and I really love to chat with more of you because it's so much fun. Um, don't forget to open that description box to find all my friends and find links and um, the names of everything that I spoke about today and yeah hit that subscribe button if I didn't say that already and yeah I will see you guys in my next one bye